Hello, my crafty friends. I'm really glad you're here with me today. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you want to see tutorials on various types of crafts, you are in the right place, and I'd love to have you as my friend. Today, I'm going to make the cutest Easter soap dispenser. The techniques I'm going to show you can be done on anything, not just a glass jar. You could do this on a plaque, a canvas, whatever your imagination can come up with. I'm going to show you how to do 3D decoupage. You are in for a treat. It's really easy and a lot of fun. So if you are ready, let's make a mess. The first thing I always do is clean my glass jar with alcohol. It removes any dirt, grime, and fingerprints. This will help anything that you're going to apply to the jar to stick. I'm going to spray this jar with a frost coating and then a matte sealer to protect it. So I'm covering the threads of the jar with painter's tape to protect them. If they get any paint on them at all, the dispenser lid won't screw on properly. While I'm waiting for the paint to dry, I'm going to prepare all my paper. I'm going to make a banner to go around the entire jar that will look like old parchment paper. I'm working with just plain old copy paper and it's going to make quite a transformation. First, I'll need to thin it out. This will give the same texture as rice paper. I'm using brown packing tape. And this is the only packing tape that will work for this procedure. I tried several types and bingo, this is it. I'm covering the sheet of paper with the tape. And it needs to go from side to side for it to thin properly. Don't go from top to bottom. I'm starting at one of the corners and separating the tape from the paper and just pulling off the tape. It leaves you with a nice thin sheet of paper. I don't want a sharp cut edge, so I'm going to rip the paper to fit the jar. I'm spraying the paper with a little bit of water so it'll rip easier. You're going to want to watch this video till the very end. I'll be showing you how to make the most beautiful vintage bow, and it's so easy. Where are you watching from? Send me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. I'm filming from Las Vegas, Nevada in the USA. I need to let the paper dry for a little bit, so I'm going to work on the bunnies next. I purchased the cutest bunny picture from Etsy and printed it several times. I'll need several pictures to get all the pieces and parts I need to do the 3D. I'm going to thin the paper out on this one as well. And again, I'm making sure that I run the tape from side to side. separating all the pictures and I'm going to work on the one that will go on the front of the jar first. I don't want a sharp cut edge again so I'm removing the excess paper with a water brush. If you don't have one you can just use some water and a paintbrush. That'll work just fine. Since we printed these pictures on an inkjet printer I'm being really careful not to get any water on the picture or the ink will run. cutting a sharp edge with some scissors around the yellow egg and the bunny ears because those are going to stick out over the parchment paper. I 
I'm going to need some bunny parts to create my 3D, so I'm using the rest of the pictures to cut out all of my parts. Paper is dry now, so it's time to go back to my parchment paper. I'm adding some iced champagne wax rub to the edges and sparsely on the interior to make it look old and worn. I'm going to add some raised lettering on the paper using a stencil and some pre-mixed grout. I laid the bunny picture on the paper to measure and make sure I didn't get any lettering where they're going to be. I want my lettering to be in a light gray, so I'm mixing just a little bit of gray paint with the grout. If you're enjoying this video, give me a great big like and hit that subscribe button so you can be one of my crafty friends. If you'd like to be notified anytime I upload a new video, click the bell. The grout is dry, so I'm gluing the parchment paper on with some Mod Podge, and then I'll put the bunny picture on top of it. I'm rolling it down with a sponge to make sure everything is down tight and there are no air bubbles underneath. I'll let that dry for a little while and then I'll cover the entire picture and the parchment paper with another coat of Mod Podge. Here's where all the magic is going to happen. It's time to do the 3D effects. I'm taking a very tiny ball of clay and putting it on the back of the yellow egg cutout. 
I'm smashing the edges down around the whole picture so the clay gradually gets as thin as the paper. And then I'll wipe it off or use a pair of scissors to remove the excess. Then I'll glue it over top of the egg that's already there, being really careful to line up the pictures. And pressing it down just around the edges. clay squishes out from under the picture when I'm pressing it down, I'll remove it with my clay tool. I'm going to do the exact same thing with the other three eggs and the three bunnies. I cut out some of the bunny ears and I'm creasing them with my palette knife and then I'll glue them on top so they appear to be 3D as well. Now I'm giving the bunny picture a coat of Mod Podge. And when that dries, I'll give the whole jar a coat of matte sealer to protect all of what I just did. After the sealer dried, I added a bit more Mod Podge to just the ears. I just wanted to stiffen them up a little bit more. I'm going to make the eggs look really cute by using a two-step crackle process. I'm going to put part one just around the edges of all the eggs, and then I'll wait for that to dry before I can put on step two. Step one has dried, and now I can add step two of the crackle process. Once that dries, we'll have some really cool cracks around the edges of all the eggs. I'm brushing on some brown mica powder to make all the little cracks stand out.
These are fingernail decals. They are just the right size for this project. And they make the eggs look like they were hand painted. Which one of these techniques did you enjoy learning the most? Making the parchment paper or the 3D decoupage? Let me know in the comments. I love hearing from all of you and I answer every single one of the comments that I receive. Now I'll put some resin on just the eggs to make them really shiny. It's a brush on UV resin that's used in jewelry making. I'm brushing it on very carefully only on the eggs and using a toothpick to spread it to the edges and small areas. After it's cured, if you notice that you got some of the resin in an area that you don't want it, you can cover it up with a little matte Mod Podge. This jar is just looking so adorable now. I'm going to assemble the soap dispenser lid and make the vintage ribbon. I cut a length of ribbon and I'm painting it on both sides with a light green, dark green, and pink. Then I'll scrunch it up in a little ball and wrap it up with a piece of twine. And then I'll let that dry for 24 to 48 hours before I unwrap it. adding a little of the champagne ice wax rub to the ribbon just to make it shimmer a little bit. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe so I can bring you more craft videos just like this one in the future. I put together a playlist with some other videos that you might enjoy. Click the picture on your right to be taken directly to that playlist.